Can you be shut down? No. Why did we bring bring no, no, no. Why don't you allow him to talk here? This is what we need to talk no, 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 about. Yeah, I'm out of India, God. You're disturbing your mind here. Bye, bye, please. Let me speak. You see, I am also the light, not you all. That's why I'm talking right now. Please stop it here. Please go. We want to be peaceful. Let's keep the emotions down. Let's talk. I can see. Please go. We need to meet peacefully. Yeah. Today is a special day. Today is about to look while we are reading. Please stop. Stop. Please. You are not creating a good vibe like this. Please go. No, I was just talking to you without my knowledge. I'm sorry. Let's not react. Let's remain cool. Stop it. Go out, please. You go wherever, but if you don't. Don't, You're not giving me don't, up to my home. Don't put this Sorry. library. Unless you have a kind of a procedure you want to do, and then you can tell me. What are you suggesting? Priscilla, what are you suggesting? Can you tell me just please? It's all working. You're right. It's all working. Can we just stop it and then we have a better round? Stop it, JCP. It's a lot of the people that are there who can't even speak. So we can speak. Surya, I am like you, like you. Can you, can you go stop it? Please go stop it. I cannot stop it. Surya, I am saying it's not in my hands to stop it. If you can, hear, I will push you to go stop it. Please go stop it if you can. Who is it? Who is behind you, Rakshay? In my hands right now, I have I have had the ability right now to hold a space for us to share what we feel. Do you want to do that? I am not here to go and confront. But who can stop the JCP? I do not know this. You know better than me. Nobody can. You know. You know better than me. Not in your hands. I, I, I so, I mean, if everybody at that, at that event wants to come here, they can't because please, right I now, request you to come sit here, take a seat. Let's discuss. No, I'm going, I'm going to As I said, them. the JCP is just a There is no point. I wanted to come to this meeting. There is no point. Ready to be here, but now I cannot because. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Can you please go to the So we have. Right now, we are expecting. Okay, friends. Yes. Right now, we are expecting yes. the working committee members, ATDC members, and the foundation hello, members hello, to hello. be here, so that we can, so that we can speak. We can, and I also know that there are a lot of rumors flying about. So we need to also know what the truth is. We are here to directly talk to the people who are doing things. This is why we have gathered. And I request the people who want to, who want to be the protester, who want to be the activist, there is other place, you can go do it. Yes. Uh, Actually, it's just a pity. There's only two choices. I don't feel comfortable in your choice. I never felt. And I speak maybe for quite some of the other organizations. I'm for the development of our From the beginning. But it casts it simplistically into two camps. And that is being planned today. It doesn't create the unity that is ever necessary in the city. So what am I to do? Just go there? No, I'm not interested. Sit here? I'm not interested. Because we're not doing it together. You don't give me, and maybe many other Oregonians, a choice to stay in the middle, to stay centered, and to speak for something that is higher than what's happening right now. My request is, why can't we do that? What is so important to plan two things at the same time? I won't go anywhere. I have to leave now. I would have loved to be part of this. But my, my heart tells me that I'm made to choose here. I feel the choices are, are too limited. There's a future that is a different choice. If I had the opportunity and other people would always stay quiet to speak about that, perhaps there would be a solution. But if we continue with two camps, so be it. Thank you. All my, all my respect to everybody.
Just very, very, very shortly. Yes. I've seen this so many times. It has been recognized in the cognitive sciences, in education, as soon as you tell someone you should do this or that, it doesn't work. It never worked, it will never work. It creates immediately a resistance in the mind of people. Do this, do that, you are wrong, I know. I'm sorry if, I, if, you, if you felt that I said that, I did not say that at all. Yeah, okay. So, right now, Narad is here. And uh, let's start off with some meditation and let's see if we can hold the space. There is one sound that can bring all of us together in harmony and unity. And that sound is OM. It is universal. It has the power to change and to transform. And the secretary asked me if I would chant OM with each of you. We are all. It's outdated already, this. I'm sorry. We are all children of the Divine Mother. And it's that where we have to take our true poise. Exactly. Not in intellectual arguments, vital arguments, but in the harmony. And we can have that harmony with Om. I ask you, please. Sing on. Um, yeah, this morning and perhaps it would be better if we start off from uh, 4th December, the event that, uh, you know, that was the first day, I believe. And let's start off from there.
Okay. So uh, yes, I was part of TDC, and uh, but on that particular day, I was out of Oroville. I was in Chennai, and I came late in the night. And I was told that uh, there was to be some clearing in the night time, and it was in response to certain actions in the daytime, um, and that it was uh, it was already all organized. Um, so I had come from Chennai. I did not know what happened in the morning. So I had to then bring up to myself to the full understanding what happened. So this is what happened in my view. From TDC's point of view, I am saying this. Tell me if it is wrong. So in the morning, it was um, it was organized that it will be cleared. Also, I would like to also to be in fair on uh, you know uh, honesty. I would like to also say that TDC from Toby it, the mail went to youth center saying that it will be uh, it will be cleared on Monday on the sixth. Uh, and suddenly on the on the fourth itself. Uh, the team was sent in the morning. Um, why it happened, perhaps it's, I mean, the more I try to look at where the problem is, why when we already announced on the 6th we will go, why did we go on the 4th? Uh, it seems like it was a case of misunderstanding. I mean, foundation office did not know that it was already announced on the 6th. And um, I was out. So it's, it's, a, it's a kind of case of misunderstanding. And then on the 4th in the morning when it was the JCBs were sent to clear off uh, from, the, from the community there was a lot of mobilization and people came about, organized themselves very quickly uh, and they came to protest. Protesting was not a problem per se in Oroville, we all can do it. The problem as far as I have understood from what I've learned is that adults came with kids and they put the kids in front of the JCBs to stop the work. <coughs> this was kind of considered as unacceptable from all point of view. Not just safety, at many levels it was wrong. So I gathered that the decision was taken that, you know, if it is in the daytime, if, if Aurovillians are to put the kids in front to stop the work, then we need to choose a time wherein this does not happen. And along with this, because they were, they were putting themselves at risk and putting the kids at risk for safety precautions, this is what I got to know when I came back to Oroville at 8 o'clock, that the police has also been mobilized um, to cordon off the area, to cordon off the roads, the access roads to um, youth center and then there will be JCBs which will be sent in the night to do the job that was sent to do in the morning. So, so I was there in the night when this happened uh, from TDC, perhaps I was the only one at the time. So I went with the understanding that and I also saw that, that the police were cordoning off all the access points and the JCBs were sent in. Was it a good sight? No. Was it easy to see? Not at all. Because I was also the one, I mean, if three people from Tricare is here, they know that I've, I've been talking to them very actively to, to pursue the options of transplanting the trees. And I, I, I had really wished that we could do this without even, you know, uh, destroying even not even a tree but another time perhaps so in the night the action was taken and I was there and I and I also tried to I mean in my whatever capacity I tried to see that because I came late in the night if it could be avoided if, if things can happen the other way but it seems that the decision were already taken and uh, and it and, the, and it's not easy to mobilize the police force to secure the area. Okay, so in the night, um, I was there, and when I when I, I I saw that when the JCB went immediately, the kids who were there, I mean, the young adults, 
Oh, some of whom were my students in last school. We came crying. No. Yeah. And oh, uh, and they were pleading, and they were pleading me to also come with them to stop this work. And I stood by. I said, I cannot because this is beyond me. This is this has already been brought forth. And I also suggested them not to confront the police. Uh, and if there is to be done something, we can we can then do it tomorrow morning. Th this was not the moment to be an activist. At least that's how I looked at it. I thought this is not my moment to be an activist and jump in front of it. But I stood there for a while, and I left. Um, so this is my side of the story, uh, and this is. I mean, from TDC's point of view, it was not decided by TDC's point of view. This this was. Uh, announced by uh, a foundation and uh, I'm not sure how much working committee was in the know so maybe this is the time you can come in and um, we were aware of and we were part of all the lead up discussions for the clearing which has which had gone on for quite some time and it was understood that after we came to a decision the clearing would happen because there is also a strong call from the community that the crown is done and this has been going on for many years. On the 4th of December I got a call around um, 9.30, 10 saying from Toby saying can you please come we cannot handle it. So that was a moment I had no awareness of what was happening. I went on the site and then we saw the JCBs and we saw people hanging out of the JCBs, children in front and everything. So people being at the same time very perplexed how to handle that. And there was a lot of uh, heated, you know, everybody basically got shouted at. Whoever came to either intervene or to help or to say let's continue with the work, let's just go on. The JCBs are there not to hurt anybody, it's to clear. But the, the, it was just very strong, very, uh, very agitated atmosphere and there was no way we could continue. So it was called off and um, there was, so it was agreed that we meet. So we arranged from working committee, we arranged for a meeting at Sauchu. Uh, so people came there, but, and there was just myself, uh, there was uh, Shri Moi and I think Arun. Uh, and basically there was a very strong outcry against us saying you cannot do the meeting, you're not allowed to speak, you shut up, <laughs> get out of the way. So we did. And um, it, it remained very agitated, very aggressive, that whole meeting, and basically we were asked to resign. Um, I think TDC to resign. Well, TDC, as far as I, you can see, they were doing their work. And this is the work they have been assigned to do since I would say a year and a half and people have been going towards youth center to try and clear. Uh, people have been put, you know, sent home, the people who came to survey were thrown away. So this is, it's not something which happened that day. This has been building up and uh, after the crown walk I thought, I sensed amongst a lot of people yes, that there was a kind of momentum that we should go ahead. And this thing of clearing, there were only three pockets which needed to be cleared. One is in Youth Center, one is in Darkali, and one is in Centerfield, or a dam, uh, Centerfield. So at that point, TDC uh, engaged in a lot of um, conversations with each of these um, people. And uh, for example, Mita and Tapas finally agreed to move out. And a lot of effort went to finding a very nice place, a home for them, which has been handed over to them. They have the keys, they are moving in. Um, also for Chuma and um, LOD, they have, a, I think, a bathroom or something which is placed on the ground. So they will move it at the back. Agreements have been done for that. They will be held financially for that. So these agreements were made with TDC. With Darkali, I believe they've had extensive 
uh, somebody, Sri Vatsa can afterwards fill me in. They, they have had, you know, extensive uh, discussions with them, how to take it through. There are some possibilities, there are some things still to be worked out perhaps. Youth Center has, there was a lot of effort. Hello. Yeah. So, um, Youth Center, uh, we had, I think, at least two sessions there, one very long session. Um, and at that point, we even walked the path, what they had cleared. And it seemed that we were actually coming to a decision. So, this is uh, a little bit, and then things got stalled at some point. Um, and there was this, uh, what we heard, I think this TDC, Shribatsa should take over, is because, you see, TDC has parallelly been working on a DDP, they've been working on all the details. They've been working also with professionals for the Crown. And there appears to be a very um, strong misunderstanding about the Crown. And there's a huge fear about that. So Lakshay had uh, organized something called Reimagining the Crown, which was uh, a very interesting session where people gave their ideas, it was a participatory thing, and there were very good ideas coming through to totally blow this idea of a road going through the middle of the town, something like that. It's really something eventually for the youth, that the youth can take over as their urban life, as something that they can build. And we had sessions with Nahar and Ankita and uh, Lucrezia, and they came up with very good ideas. So I don't know where it kind of shifted off. Uh, of course, people got taken by other, other work and other um, you know, in a, you know, exigencies which had to be fulfilled. So that got stalled for a while and then this came back. I will give it to Srivatsa. Uh, okay. So when we went to the Sauchun meeting, as I said, the main conclusion is that we had to resign and there had to be an RAD to call everything in question. Then at night, I must say, some you were aware, I slept through it blissfully. I had no idea what was going on. I woke up in the morning and I saw my WhatsApp and it started immediately from five o'clock. Um, all I will say is that if we had been proactive in this whole thing, which has gone on for 20 years, if not more, if we had been able to take our own decisions, if we had been able to agree, there would be no police over here. Not one person, definitely not the working committee, wants the police here to do what it had to do. It's not that I'm you know, condoning anything, that's not the point. I'm saying it's time for us to turn the light back on us and see what we can do to change this. That is all. Yeah, before you came, this is what we started off with. Uh, the interaction, the purpose of this is we all know what's happening and it's not something anyone, I don't think anyone in our room or in Auroville really is happy about it, the way it's been done. None of us are. Let's be honest about it. But it's a surgery and that has taken place now. What is that we need to... Yeah, so we, what we need to ask is that how do, we, how do we avoid coming to junctures like this where we have to make difficult uh, uh, choices and, and involve other people? Why can't, we, why can't we let working groups do the work so that it doesn't ever come to this point? Srivatsa. The overall thing, I think about the youth center. I think I was part of the youth center where we were negotiating two days before, even till two days before. In the evening, we met in under the banyan tree, and it was uh, a very nice, actually, feeling because, like, you no, know, we had agreed that the youth center would be relocated. We would be providing funds. We will be assisting them in um, creating the vocational training area. Uh, an NOC would be issued. So I was very much part of this conversation day before yesterday to make these things happen. So this is where I come from, like you no, know, and I have been handling most of the planning which we have been trying to pick it up. We have been interacting with uh, 
Balakrishna Doshi's team from Ahmedabad two weeks before I happened to go and meet them. I had a long discussion with them in terms of preparing a detailed development plan. And we also had a meeting, uh, a very interactive meeting, uh, two, three days with the uh, Institute, I mean, Town and Country Planning Organization of India, which is a nodal body. And we also happened to have various discussions with various experts in the field. Now, one thing everybody had unanimously accepted is that 16.7 meter has to be respected. This was one which no consultant had contradicted or because, of course, we also wanted to be sure, like, you know, whether are we doing a mistake? Is it something we are doing irrational or is it something emotionally driven? So we just wanted to look into it and see how it could be done. So the fact is, like, you know, when, when Doshi's team and everybody said, look, 16.7 has to be respected. Now, the details is something, you know, that is part of the detailed development plan which needs to be done. So that's a different issue. Now, youth center, I can assure you that until day before yesterday evening, we were constantly working on how it could be done on a very peaceful way, how we could collaborate and do things together. And we had, so what was also concluded is the tools would be, uh, they were ready to take these tools to ensure that, you know, the things will be removed by them in a very harmonious, in a very uh, sensible way, I would say. So that was the conclusion we had a day before yesterday before all these things turned out of control. So, uh, yeah, so, but at the same time, I personally feel and I'm sure all of my colleagues also feel that preparing a, a proper uh, DDP would really help us in removing this misconception. But also one of the thing which what we could find when we are discussing with many of the government officials is, look, Aurobel, we had given a promise to the government and to the people out there and to the world and we had as a, as a return, we had certain, taken back certain goodness. Now, they said, you people are enjoying the goodness, but where is the promise which you people had given to us? It's been too long, you have been talking about it. So, I couldn't an give them any answer in return. The only answer I could say is, look, we will come up with the DDP and then we'll move forward with it. Maybe I can take questions. Surin has it. Yeah, Surin. Um, I just want to point out now, um, right now in Wait, Narsi, yes. Um, so, just for everybody to be aware, right now in Darkali, what happened in News Center this morning is continuing. Um, now, I mean, you see, on all levels, um, we need to bring reason to the fore, right? And consciousness from the divine is the source of reason, right? Now, I'm actually, I'm not, I'm not really a pro-crown um, uh, or anti-crown person. For me, the most important thing is peace. Right? Because peace is the indicator of the divine consciousness. Right? In very rare instances, you might have to use force, but generally, as an individual, you must be at peace. Only if you're at peace can you think clearly, right? and are you clear within yourself. Right? Now, my issue, right? and I, I don't want to make a big issue, but, well, <laughs> it is a big issue, you know? but I don't like making big issues, let's say that. But the issue now is, right, is that what's happened is that, I'm not sure um, whether, whether, whether it's the secretary or the working committee, but somebody has empowered Antim, right, to bring 100 or more, right, local, well, not even local, people from, I think, Kutrod and, 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 and around, to intimidate and support him in the clearing of, um, of YC and now um, Darakali. So what's happened is, a, is, is, it's a very scary situation, you know, to have all these locals, they're all paid, right? And they all have no idea what's going on here. And they have nothing to do with Orbel, actually, right? So, as I said, I'm not even against clearing the right of way, necessarily, as long as it's done with reason and respect, and in the, in, in, with the right nature, with the nature of Orbel, right? With the nature of decency, with intelligence, with, so that we can be proud of who we are. But if we do it in this way, first of all, in years to come, you won't be proud of how you've achieved it. And secondly, you're creating fractures within our society. Yeah? So what will happen is that you will end up with a road, right? but you won't have Orville anymore. Right? Because the substance, what is Orville, is us. All of us. Yeah. We are Orville. Right? We are Orville. And, and the, the, the plan is supposed to house us. So the plan is also important. Even the plan might have some occult significance. Yeah, absolutely. So let's do that. But we must do it in the right way. 
right? So actually, I came here because you know a lot of my friends are now faced with a JCB, and again with Anthem going completely berserk, like a madman, in my opinion, um, surrounded by a horde of um, local supporters, right? Um, and I lost my train of thought. And yeah, and they're and they're there right now. We don't know what to do. The kids are sitting in front of the JCB. There's another impasse. And it's simply not sensible, you know. So, and the last thing I'll say now is that there is a solution. There's a very simple solution, actually, for anything that we disagree upon. It's a very, very simple solution. Anything that we disagree upon, we go to an RAD. Okay, and all of us, whichever side we are on, if we want this or that, we must honor the voice of the RA. So, I have no preference, as I said, essentially. I only want to hear what the RA tells me. And the RA is all of us. You understand? Thank so, you, and once, once we all accept to listen to the RA, there will be no more of this, or there will be a lot less of it, let's say, and that we can really move forward and build Orville. Thank you, Surya. With, with, the, with, the, with the support of our, of, our, of our dear secretary, who really, I sense, is a very good person. You know? it's, it's only that I, I'm worried that certain narratives have been portrayed more strongly right, than other narratives. And I, 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 I worry that reason has been lost. Anyway, let's go for the RA. Let's have the RA vote. What do you guys say? Everybody, RA, RA, President's Assembly. Let the President's Assembly vote. Thank you. So, 4th of December, I was there on the spot when things were picking up and I was trying to literally beg with each person said, we are not, not destroying forests, we are just clearing a path and let working, working groups continue with the work, don't stop them. Don't, it's just going to accelerate into something not so nice and just see, don't do that. And there was no way that one could communicate. There was just simply no way, especially when the children were put on the on the JCB and it was just getting more and more dramatic and it was very clear that even that we talk about RA which is, I, I totally get you, but even the decision of RA we mock in front of it, right? So our working group where they have gone to do some work, we stop them, what is the statement we are trying to make? Uh, let me complete now. So that this this got, uh, it was a very sad scene. I don't have, I, I'm not part of working committee or any of the group. I'm just going to tell you what, how, how this went on. You can, you can shout and if it is solved, solve the problem. Please, all of us be shout. Then it's very good, no? Let's just shout. Yes. Ten years ago, one Indian guy killed my wife here. After ten years, some Indian guy is beating my son. What is this? I don't want to stay in this place. Crazy. Don't touch my son. Where is this person who is beating my son? Where are police? Someone did beat his son. Can we stop this conversation, please? Then we get up in the team and we all had been wanting to speak in many, many months, and we have not managed to listen to anybody. And we are all wanting to have a, a new RAD and one more residence assembly. Our incapacity to listen to each other had been profoundly on our face. But we still want to believe that we are going to fix everything and everything will be right. Everything will be all right. And I, I am very confused in that space. We were with the youth center team in Martin Mandir and spent hours of work. And there was a beautiful report was created by them. And the next morning, I went there at 6.30 in the morning to support because that was written in the letter. What I saw, 7 o'clock, 7.30, we were called near the stage and people begin to talk. And they begin to, by 9.30, everybody was confused. All the time went for a toss. All the writing went for a toss. And, uh, and the youth were crying. And I saw adults who were manipulating youth. I don't want to say that, but I saw it. I saw in front of my own eyes and I couldn't believe that this was happening. And now what happened? Nothing happened in the youth. Center. They were very clear they wanted to. They had sent the letter as well. I have a copy of thing. I was part of the meeting. And then after 
48 hours jcb had to be brought in back again because system just collapsed i i don't know what to say i'm not the one people are catching me to say that i will stop and i should do this and that it is us who has called for it we have chance to do it together we want to do it together we want to listen to each other but somehow we are not able to Well, Umar, you just said exactly more or less my experience. On Monday morning, I read like everybody that email sent by the Youth Camp. And I was deeply touched by the call of harmony together, asking the help of all our civilians, can you come and help us to shift the Youth Camp? That's what I did. I went there to really help shifting together with them the the camp in my capacity unfortunately as you rightly said a lot of talk was going and i was wondering where is gone that marvelous call for unity to so beautiful words only words and not only this a fact moved to another fact which moved to another fact that and it is totally another story of the first little finger which has been moved and i said up to 11 or something like that and when i saw that there were no way i could help and that was uh tuesday okay tuesday morning nothing happened so what what is there i think we are at fault because we should have helped and and do it what force because i see it as a force i don't see it as an individual what force are taken all the people to go to wards looking at each other they were hate i was feeling hate and i'm here for harmony i'm here for fraternity i i was i was baffled and i must say when i went away with my cycle i passed through the youth they were playing a, a, a guitar they were not acting or discussing with us they were away from it i don't know it was not the youth which were manifesting it was we or ovelian looking at each other what do you think are you going to be in the in my camp or you can? there is no camp we are a family thank you thank you tapas i i request the people who are raising their hand to come here it's better tapas would you like to come here please Me, meanwhile sir aap yahan aa jayenge please no no it's better for the camera and it's also being telecast good afternoon we are an orobel a spiritual place we are here for consciousness but i am wondering consciousness can be only when we are at the level of spiritual and not ego level that means respecting accepting everyone and not thinking okay he has this intention that intention or something like that interpreting what i really wonder about your saying residence assembly agitation will not help sorry agitation will not help and that is what is happening now and what i am seeing also few people have political agenda that we have to see also when we take all this out that it is possible that we can come together if it is it is not possible as long as we don't respect and we say it's, we don't want this uh, what is planned now stop every acting we are waiting for 25 years i personally i'm 17 years here i believe all of will really need progress and grow for that we should have good education system which has been blocked more or less multiversity project is now whether we want to go or not we are out ground road same problem so either we stop all this activity is a blocking stagnation we have a choice or we have a choice for progress and development and i personally am for development and we are we should not we should think about it at present many people have such a they would some comfortable 
or many of us, they are comfortable having a good villa, lot of space, which they will not have in their own country. So this comfortable zone we have to leave. And what I personally again and again request everyone, we are talking about consciousness. Consciousness for me starts with respecting, accepting and respecting. If we don't accept others, the opinion of others, if we don't respect the opinion of the others and don't listen, we are not conscious. 53 years has gone of experimenting with consciousness. It is for waste. Let us do a change here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tapas. Just wanted to take on to what Anu said and what uh, Surian came up with some of the suggestions. Phil, you are after Surian. Um, I think none of us are happy the way things have gone. But if it has happened, we are instrumental in making it happen because we are sleeping since more than 20 years and not being proactive in wanting to build the city. So unfortunately and sadly it has happened the way it has happened. We have to learn to accept it. Take it with a good, uh, good uh, attitude, accept it, accept the mistakes, yet respect whoever has taken the action, respect it. They have done it with good intentions behind, not with bad intentions. And we have been prepared for months that we are going to go forward about this Crown Road. And the groundwork has been done by the working committee, by the TDC, and it just happened. Now to avoid this kind of surprises in future, and there I want to come in what, what Swayam has said, I think we need to be proactive, not RA, sorry. We need to be proactive amongst ourselves in our system that we first do our homework and only when there is emergency we call an RA, we don't need the RA, sorry. We have to be proactive, we have to work together on development plans. Maybe on every, uh, twice a month we have the TDC presenting, this is how we are going to go about, call the residents assembly, call the concerned people, inform the community, educate the com uh, community on all the zones, yeah. on the development zones. And in this last two weeks or one week, whatever has happened, I am very concerned from long, long time in the community on the development of the international zone, the pavilions, and the development of the cultural zone. And just to end with a fact on the cultural zone, I was part of the cultural zone group in the 80s and 90s. And the whole plan has been designed by the mother, developed and written down with minutes, uh, notes of the minutes and all that. During one of the meetings, we learned that the youth center has started in the heart of the cultural zone. And the people who started, it's fine, we will go away, the day it has to be removed. I think, how many years Luigi have passed by since then? Yeah. So, Maybe it's time for us to develop the cultural zone, the crown road, the international zone. Please wake up, guys. We have to be proactive and develop the city. Thank you. Tupas. Thank you. And to just add on to that, educating ourselves as a community, I think it's really important that all of us also read. I mean, we all read Charter to be true or William. Along with it, we also need to read the Foundation Act, read the master plan. This is not going anywhere. It's the fact of Aurovillian life also. So please read these documents, know for yourself. If you have any doubt, ask the working groups. They are bound to answer you. Surian, please. No, no, he's on, he's next. She didn't believe me that I was next. <laughs> That's okay, don't, 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 don't worry. I'm not, I'm not a hooligan. Um, so, um, you know, the first thing that I just, and I, I'm surprised it came back to me because I wanted to address a simple thing that, um, that Uma had said um, about the RA and um, anyhow, I've kind of forgotten what that was, but I just want to come back to um, um, essentially sort of the energy that I would like to extend, you know, and that I would like to represent 
you know, um, and that I believe in, you know, that I not believe in, but I, but, but I, that I know is our future, right? So first of all, that is, is that, you know, I really want to extend love and care, you know, and, and respect, you know, to all of you, to everybody here, okay? And I fully agree um, that, you know, we must listen to each other, right? We shouldn't get loud, we shouldn't get aggravated, absolutely. Um, now, when it comes, and I want to just come back to the RA. Now, as a community, you see, my wish is that we are peaceful, that we are harmonious together. That's what I want. I have next to no agenda. I would much rather be playing my music and inspiring people to love the divine. That would be my wish. Now, now we have fractions in our community, right? And for me, and I've been in the council now for several months, the only thing that can bring us together is a communal decision, right? So only by us putting it to a vote, and although we know the mother did not necessarily uh, condone voting as the only way, there are much better ways to make decisions. Really, um, anyway, we won't go into that. But what we have now, what we, all, what we have now, the only real tool we have now to bring us together, and that is my only intention here, my only intention is to bring us together. Yeah, is to honor the RA. Yeah? And there's a narrative that I hear going around is, is that the RA's uh, representation is not high enough, um, that the RA is a waste of time, we've wasted 20 years, you know, or 50 years. Um, in my opinion, it's most of, look, and it's, I'm, a, I'm a younger person, so I've, I've been watching the RA since I was a child. And I remember watching um, the adults, and you know, many of you are those same very adults and thinking how they really didn't understand what Orville was about, right? Or it wasn't that, the thought was more that they didn't understand what, truth. And for me, truth starts with harmony, right? So you prioritize being in a, in a good connection with someone. So respecting someone, loving someone, caring for someone, not arguing with them above your agenda, above your personal agenda, above your personal preference which is exactly, if any of you have read The Mother, she told us to, we must surrender our preference, right? So you must start, right? With the care, with the love, with the harmony, right? And from there we can build. Anyway, so I'll, my last point is just, please don't undermine the RA. The RA is really our only hope for harmonious progress. Alternatively, Alternatively, we can have aggressive and one-sided progress where the, the half of Orville is not invested in it and, and tries to fight against it. We can't build Orville, in my opinion, if we are fighting with each other, if we're constantly fighting with each other. So let us please use the one tool that we have, the RA, and let's not undermine it. Because when you spread this narrative, that, and this is the last thing I'm going to say, if you spread this narrative that the RA is of no value, because there's people out here, and even amongst this group, saying this, yeah, that's the last thing I wanted to say, is that it has, has no value, so let's, let's not spread that narrative because it is not the truth. The truth is that the um, RA is very valuable to us, and it is our answer. Thank you. Yes, so we cannot reinforce more. The RA is very important. Got that. Philip, also kindly keep it short. There's a long list now. People are waiting to speak. Philip. Yeah, uh, what was the topic of this meeting, by the way? Was it about town planning? Uh, that's what I came for. And I just see a long thread of justification for what's happening. Or, yeah, I'm here, I'm here, yeah, 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 I'm here. Uh, and uh, uh, I think it's, it's, a, it's a good example of, uh, uh, like, we come for something and actually something else is completely happening. Like, this is right now where, like, we can see uh, we can hear that in Dakali there are gundas, they are taking over, and uh, we are being called here for something, but actually, of course, we just cannot do any significant work here. Uh, it just um, there's, uh, looks like there's a kind of a sect inside of Oroville which has taken power. And, I mean, what's the point being here? I've years, years that we're just the same thing. 
It is absolutely wrong. I strongly, strongly disagree that oral reading has been stagnating even in the last years. Like, this is a narrative which is, which is awful. It's just politicized uh, instrumentation. No, the, the, the dream goes on and it's not dead and it will revive, don't worry. Thank you, Phil. Paulette. So I want to go back to what Uma and Jean said because I also went on Monday morning to the youth center. In fact, I was called in the night by Enea, but I would have got lost, so I went the next morning. And uh, I was very touched when I saw in the, in the Euronet their will to, to collaborate and asking people to go and helping them to take away the things, and that's why I went. I also went with my camera. And then something very strange started happening. So people started proposing just anything. And uh, everybody must know that Paul Blanche Fleur, who is the one who put up that proposal, in fact, was trying to cool down the atmosphere, was trying to go back to the resolution taken in the night, Ange also helped, and uh, some people were very wise, the proposals were very good, uh, the proposals were crazy, but at a certain point something happened, that a young woman that I, I don't even know started speaking, saying everybody knows that I'm not an orator, uh, just what I'm talking comes from above, and then she started instigating the people, saying, who is the secretary, what is this power, what is the government of India, and so on. So at this point, I walk out. But I want to say that there is a tremendous occult force here. So the girl might be an insignificant person, but a very powerful person, on the contrary, doing these things here, I will not mention the name. In fact, Madam Secretary is not informed of what certain people truly are. She is not informed that there are people who believe that there are reincarnations of Sherobindo and the Mother's Force. And I hold responsible the Working Committee and the Auroville Council for not informing her about these kind of things. Because what's happening right now, even in Darkly, or before the youth center, is also part of this game. The council has a complete narrative. I was forwarded the blind copy, and I know. So all this is not just that it is unacceptable. It is unacceptable that as we are supposed to have some knowledge of integral yoga, that we are not aware that the mother is born with a titan here to destroy her work. And that there are certain people who embody this force. And when people are after money and power, they are particularly open to this kind of force. So I am the one championing for the town, for the avatar model town, putting up the exhibition the way Roger wanted. But in front of what's happening here now, I don't want anything of this. And I posted something in the Euronet, said that the only way to build the town is the psychic being. Unless we go back to the psychic being, all of us, whatever the camp, this town will be an Azuric town. By the way, technologically, totally incapable of building the real thing, as in my exhibition, as Roger wanted the town to be built. I also want to add that I mentioned Paul Blanche Fleur, but Enea is another one. Enea is the one who first launched the idea to relocate the youth center. is in the forest group, and this would have also been my dream. So you have to understand that nothing is black and white. There are people who pretend to be white and they are absolutely black. And there are people on the other camp who are just fantastic, like Enea. 
I would rather like to believe that there are no camps. We all are here for Orogel. Uh, sometimes we, when we go across to certain sites, we really, there's a palpable feeling of us versus them and the way they talk. I mean, I'm, I did not come to Orogel for that and I believe nobody came here for that also. There is a little bit of self-reflection that we all need to do in that sense, that why do we give that feeling away? Shivaya. I have a simple question to Srivatsa. You see, I have young people around me, living around, and so I've lived this whole turmoil and also how in the night they came to that, you know, that peaceful resolution and all. But they were actually then pleading to uh, the TDC to give them a building application because they lost, they lost trust, they are panicked. So I did not understand, I still don't, why there was not given a kind of email with, yes, we stand behind you, you can carry this material there, or something, they felt like, oh, and if we dismantle now, will, will we then in two days here, no, there is no place for you? Or if we go into this vocational training uh, area, and it's actually nearby Citadin, where we felt so for so long already that we are not welcome, what do we do? So I have been living now day and night with this dismay of not knowing how to solve. And then naturally all these voices come in because you see I only saw that, that slice. I agree. But we have something is not cohesive here because we end up with a, with a terrible thing somewhere. I mean for me this morning I went there. You know, I've been actually one of the initiators of this place. Not that I believe, I mean, I was not putting the hut there, believe me. So, but the way I was, I was really shocked today. I have been hardly ever shocked so badly. And it reminded me of the 80s with the gundas from the SIS. I'm really shocked. So, not, you see, I'm really, I, I want us to develop. Let me plant this. I'm not an anti-town person, but we need to do better than this. So, so Shiva. Shiva, I understand your, the point from where you are coming, but I think it's important that you understand the facts also. Like I said, day before yesterday, till 8.30, or I think around 6.37, we were in the banyan tree, and we had worked out, which I believe is a kind of a win-win situation for everybody. And I deeply appreciate the stand of the youth when they said, like, look, they would like to harmoniously co-create something. And this is exactly what we wanted. And in the night, 11.30-12, I had to send a minute saying, like, no, this is what had been created. And morning next day, we sent out a mail saying, like, no, after discussing with so many people, that, no, we would like to give an NOC and start this process. So all these things happened within a matter of few hours where, you know, TDC has been legendarily portrayed as being very, where we take so many months to do, right? And in ours, we were moving all these things on the hope, like, no, the things could really happen. So, I... I, I, I did not hear, did you give an NOC? Because so far, I understood you didn't, so I've lost... Shiva, like I said, that's an agreement, see, like, I am not the only person to give an I, but I personally put my whole thing, and there was an agreement, there was a return commitment, we also spoke to the secretary, secretary also signed on it. So I think that was much more than an NOC what we gave. Right? When the secretary has signed, I myself I had personally signed it. So uh, I don't know, let's, the bureaucracy, that this is what we get stuck, you know, sometimes we get stuck to the bureaucracy. But here we are actually trying to move forward. And then why, why this whole thing? We are giving it more. I don't think so. Any NOC has ever a secretary signature. And this one actually had the secretary signature, this, this letter. Boss, that is exactly what, why are you stuck to the bureaucracy? What you want, no, no, what you want is something saying thumbs up, you people can move ahead. We gave it more than what you asked for. See, ex so that NOC, yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, no, wait. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's a long list. Please. I want to say that my parents have been involved in Norville since the beginning. 
I grew up in Orwell. I, I think landed up in aspiration uh, community when I was around 15. Then I was told, you are allowed to stay in aspiration till 10 years and then the city will be built and you have to move. It was kind of a shocking thing for me. I have to move away from aspiration after 10 years. But this thought has been all along in my mind. When is the city going to come? When is the city going to come? And for the last 40 years, we have been discussing, discussing, drawing, discussing, discussing, going on, on, on. I don't know. Now I feel there's something going to move. And I really want to be positive and thinking something will move. Finally, something will move towards the city. Another thing I want to say here, I don't know how much, how many of you are aware that development approaching along with the Orwood Road from Quilapalin to Servitude, all shopping plaza has come. If strong action ha doesn't happen to acquire the land and more, you know, support the recognition from the state, the master plan, if this doesn't happen, next year we'll all be enjoying shops along from Seritur to Matramandir, Matramandir entrance. It'll be easy for us to go to Matramandir, do the meditation and come and have a tea after. Is this is what we want. Another thing I want to say, if Orwell doesn't build the city, the private people will build the city in the next few years, not another 10 years. In the next two, three years, there'll be, you know, towns built. Then we can say, forget about this Orwell city. And the private people, when they start building the city, you will know how messy it's going to be. You cannot and, talk. You cannot uh, talk. And then outside people come, this much freedom you will not get. Yeah, yeah. Can I finish that? Yes. Yeah, you can. I am adding sir. Yeah. Yeah. You don't the, know the consequence, how the government will yes. react. Look, there will be no respect for any trees anymore. And forests. Any private developer who is landing up in this area, you can see that. The first thing they land up on the, road, on, the, on the part of the piece of the land, cut everything off. There is no tree. So I think it is high time we wake up and go forward. Today, this, this morning and uh, the last few days I've been kind of hanging out at the youth center. And this morning I went there. This afternoon I went there. The youth are really, they are in a shock. But at the same time, they're, 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 they are in agreement. They are finding it difficult at this moment to see where they're going to go, how they're going to go forward. I had a chat with some of them and a few of them also came to me because they know that I have another view than, you know, what is happening now, which they are against. But most of them feel that and are confident that things are moving and they will find their right right space. Yeah. Uh, another thing. Uh, sure. Yes, I just want to, so sorry, just one, one bit. Few days back, I mean, I was part of the Youth Center WhatsApp group and I was putting my point of view so they also get that picture of to support this, uh, you know, coming up the city and all that, city and all that. But suddenly they blocked me to a post on it. Then I went after them, the admin, saying, why do you do, do this? You know, I have a different view. When there's a problem of COVID and I can come inside and serve you vegetables and all that, that's okay. But then, you don't want to hear anything from me? They hung up. Twice they hung up. I kept, kept going with that, please. Um, then Frederick came and said, answer the phone, that number. I told Frederick, 
It's enough of this nonsense, twisting things and taking forward wherever things are going. If you don't address this issue right away, things will go in another direction. And I told them, the thing is that we have advertised, done a whole series of things on the TV and the politician locally everywhere. And now the villages are concerned. They're saying we have sold the land to, for Audible to grow in line with the mother and Sri Aurobindo. But what is happening now? What is this fight happening then? If you don't solve, and I told Fred, if you don't solve this problem within us, the village will have a right to come inside. They will come. And it will be a mess after, like today, we were not able to deal with that hundred people coming today. Yes, more, more turn up and we can't take care of ourselves. We are in a total mess. Thank you. Sorry for taking long. Just to add some positive thoughts to that, it's very valid. Thank you. See, in ATDC, I can say that in Town Development Council, this is not the only work. I mean, I can... We have been working on many different directions, and one of the directions that we have been working on is to secure the land of Auroville, the city area, and also to secure the green belt. We are really an inch close, but we cannot also divulge all the information. We have... So the, the, the kind of momentum that we are in, we, I just wish that when I was part of ATDC, I just wish that the community would understand different positive things also, not just fall for the sensational topics. Also come forward and work on the other topics which are not so, you know, Instagrammable, sorry to say. Uh, Ganga, you are, are you still here? No, Judith. Hello. Uh, no, I actually put my hand up a while ago um, to respond to something that Surian said um, about wanting us to uh, work and respect the RA. The RA. That you, the residence assembly. But for me, the root of this whole problem is that we fundamentally do not respect the RA. The mass plan of Orville has been ratified by the RA many years ago. It has been approved by the governing board, and as far as I know, I might have this wrong, it's even been gazetted by the government of India. When we decide on the spot when action time is there. No, now we don't want it. Now we're going to have another residence assembly meeting. On Selver, Selveraj has just said it. We're shooting ourselves totally in the foot. We cannot, the, the, in this Orville that doesn't grow is totally unsustainable. All the people who are like green workers and everything, their mantras are all about sustainability and environmental and ecological. But in fact, following that path is totally, completely unsustainable and is going to lead to a total environmental and ecological disaster. The only way to keep this place in its spirit of ecology and environmental sanity and even very progressively, is to go out and build this city because mother had the most amazing dream. There's a catch, there's a sense now everybody wants to say, oh, it's very old fashioned. But it's still completely and unbelievably futuristic. And the trouble is that we, ourselves, and certainly our children, have never really learned or understood the significance of the whole aspect of what the galaxy stands for, what all that plan is all about, not just in terms of roads, buildings, etc., but what it means in terms of a place to live in human unity as the cradle of the supermind. 
And I'm afraid I want to also a little bit go back to what Paulette said. At least I don't quite see it the way she does, but I have been coming in my head all the time. We have a charter. The three bases have always, since the beginning, day one of Oroville, publicly pronounced to the whole world the big label that was, is Oroville. It's a city on a 50,000 people on a galaxy plan with a charter. And the first line of the charter says, Oroville belongs to nobody in particular. It belongs to humanity as a whole. But to live in Oroville, you have to be a willing servitor of the divine consciousness. And right now, we are showing what happens when the willing servitors are no longer willing. And then there is a real, there's an intervention happening here, which like Paulette, I believe is coming from somewhere else. And it's really ugly and really painful and it really hurts. But we cannot avoid it if we don't get on with the job. Thanks, Judith. There is a, there is a request from the recording team that either you guys please come here and speak or at least stand and speak. Hi everybody, I am Eric, living in the forest in Baraka. Just a very simple and practical question. Recently, very recently, the forest group sent uh, the DDP for Darkali and Bliss Forest that has been worked with professional quite for a while and that respect the 16 meter wide. Is this accepted or not? Very simple question. The DDP that the first group sent very recent, two days ago for Darkali and Bliss. That will release a lot of tension if those things would be accepted. Okay, what in our parlance DDP is, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's for a zone and it's not just for one little road. Yes, they sent a detail, um, uh, they, they, they proposed an alternative route and the team looked at it and they also then consulted the infrastructure team which recommended that TDC goes ahead with the existing plan. That's what has happened. Uh, Satyakam, can you please? <coughs> so, uh, I am Satyakam. In Oroville since um, 2010. Uh, so, first of all, um, it is, uh, I would like to express that uh, what is happening today is definitely not, uh, it's very sad. We are all sad about the situation, the present situation, especially the presence of police the other day. Uh, I don't want to justify, but I would like to share a few points to say that uh, it's a, it is a sort of uh, unfortunate consequence of a, a long uh, process and maybe too long. So I, I just wrote a few points here be, before waiting for, the, for the, this meeting to start. All our working groups supported is uh, supported by a complex process. I have always blocked from the beginning the manifestation of the city based on the master plan and based on values and the visions of the, ma of the mother. The point one, after 52 years, we have not even been able to build the right of ways, the crown, the radial, the ring road, which is the base around which develop the development of the infrastructure and the building of our will can be done as per the master plan and the galaxy. In spite uh, of it was approved by the RA in 2001, uh, yeah, in 2001, with a large majority, to, uh, in 1999. So you, it's, it's, it seems uh, quite long, and we always say that uh, our RA decision should be respected. That re decision we do not want to respect, we want to create other decision process. 
And the reference of the master plan is very much there in the Foundation Act as well. Uh, the point two, we have not secured and protected the land of Auroville. We entered in uh, endless palabras, which went on since 11 to 12 years, since I am here actually. The land use regulation and protection was blocked and not allowed to manifest. Just to tell you uh, how good we are uh, for talking endlessly and not taking the good decision in favor of Auroville. The point three, our economy is not aligned on the vision, neither. We are far away from a fraternal and sharing economy. We all know about it. Point four, our decision-making process is also very shaky. 10% of a participants in a vote is considered as enough to decide about important matters for the governance of Auroville. We want to organize a RAD based on this. This is not serious. 10% of participants. Suppose 10% of participants have to vote. And suppose there are 60% who are in favor of some important decision. It is a 6% of our population. Again, I'm telling it is not serious, and that is why I'm not uh, in favor of RAD. Of course, I'm in favor of resident assembly, but uh, something has to be done uh, regarding this. This is to say that we are in a state of status quo for too long, which is totally detrimental for the future of Auroville. The present status quo is not tenable. If we do not move forward toward the vision and to, and to manifest the city, then we are putting in danger the wonderful adventure called Auroville, for which the people of Goodwill have been invited for. So very rapidly, if you allow me, I would like uh, to read one text from um, Pachiji, which he sent to this morning. No, 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 it's a small text. It's a very short. No, no. Yes. So I would like to share uh, one, uh, one um, statement because Pashiji could not come today. He, he apologized. He is uh, he's sick. And he has sent uh, some reflection maybe to be shared today. Uh, I felt that it could be shared. Uh, what he says. I have just, uh, okay. Yeah, he's, he's telling about, he's responding to some person who, are, uh, who have written something about the situation of today. And he says, I am surprised that you are putting oil on fire that does not benefit a professional of your stature to not forgetting the fact that I was the first one from Auroville to approach you and, and uh, uh, participate in Auroville project. Uh, what uh, Pashidi is telling actually in substance, present con the present controversy which has nothing to do with either environment or watershed management, but basically a cover-up of those who have used the generous hospitality of this unique project to perpetuate classical ownership disguised as a stakeholders to prevent the development of a sustainable urban habitat using the excuse of present realities that is, in fact have been created by the same so-called stakeholders usurping the role of the founders, the mother, who expected willing servitors of divine consciousness to give her a gift of a beautiful city to be a living lab laboratory to work towards human unity by demonstrating a positive way of life based on values and shrined in the 12 petals of the Matri Mandir. Thank you. Thank you. Tuan, please. He's come prepared with the documents. So he is better prepared than you, Satyakam. Um, I would like to first ask two questions to Surya. Never Surya which you can both answer with a very simple yes or no. The first thing is, do you believe that the RA should function as defined in the Auroville Foundation Act? Sorry? That the, that the RA should fulfill the function it has in the Auroville Foundation Act? Absolutely. Okay. Second question. Do you believe that what the RA decides should be honored? Absolutely. Okay. 
So now let us see what the RA has decided. The RA, the, the, the Foundation Act says that the Residence Assembly shall formulate a master plan for the approval by the government. The master plan that the RA prepared is here. It's this one. It's not that one. It's this one. And this was approved by the RA with some 90% majority in 1999. It's this document. The GB was to approve it. That's what the Act says. But what did the GB do? The GB said, listen, let us just check with the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development of Government of India whether this can pass as a master plan or not. So they sent it to that ministry and that ministry has an organization called Town and Country Planning Organization, TCPO. They were an order just last week again. Of course, not the same people as then, but the new team. And that team was headed by one Dr. Meshram. Some of us are still in touch with Dr. Meshram even today. So they looked at that plan, at this plan, and they said, yes, beautiful, the drawings we don't want to disturb, but the text is not really a plan. It is aspirational text, and I've read it again and again, and it is a very nice text. It also covers all the subjects, water, energy, sustainability, but it's not really a plan in the sense saying what will happen when. So they translated this into that. The drawings in this, the layout of the town, is exactly replicated there. This shows the circular crown road on 18 pages, one eighth. Circular crown road is written there on 18 pages. It shows the radius, it shows the outer ring, but they have changed the text. So what did the governing board do after the ministry came back with its feedback? It had meetings, which were also attended by our millions. And then they give feedback on the draft which came from TCPO. I just yesterday went through the correspondence which fortunately somebody had. And then finally they approved this plan in a meeting which was held in the Ministry of HRD, where people from Auroville were also present. Frederick was there, Jyoti Madhok was there, Mr. Balabaska was there, governing board members were there, Secretary Ministry of Education, Dr. Meshram, and one person from the Tamil Nadu government was also in that meeting. They approved the plan. This is called a perspective plan. And a perspective plan is an overall plan. It needs to be detailed. So some people have argued over our net in the last couple of days. How can you make the ground road before you have DEPs? The answer to that question is the ground road is a master plan road, not a DDP road. The DDP will define what happens on both sides of that road. What type of urban design, what type of density. In fact, densities also have been given here, but you have to detail it even more. So if we are doing what you say, namely to honor the RA, then we have to honor that plan, that layout, and not discuss it every time when we do a few hundred meters of crown or anything else, the whole discussion starts afresh, galaxy, Mother, Roger, the plan, and we, we decide, we start di discussing the whole history once again. The DDPs have been partially prepared, but some architects of our world, who are now critical of this, have themselves built and designed buildings without the DDP. All the buildings along the crown, Sola Kitchen, Library, Mahalakshmi, Arka, Kalpana, are built without there being a DDP of the crown. So when that was done, it was fine not to have a DDP. But when the Crown ROW was cleared, we needed first a DDP. So we have also a lot of double standards around there. My second comment is, I saw a meeting, a lot of postings on our net, questioning a budget of 50 crores, which apparently is the first installment of a larger budget. Now let me tell you what the budget was that the Albuvillians residents have proposed in 2001. It's here in this document. So this document is not only the master plan, it's also a development plan for the first five years, which was a very smart move because you can't make a master development plan in one day, so the first five years is in this document itself. And that adds up to 350 crores for five years. 
from 350 crores in 2001 when the inflation is equal to 920 crores today. 2001, 350 crores is equal to 930 crores today. So where is 50 crores and why is 930 crores? So that shows that the amount that is being discussed about is actually a very small token advance. Have you ever calculated, any one of you, what would be the cost of this town? If you want our will fully to be built. Luigi and I did it once on a napkin. You remember Luigi? Yeah. We had a dinner and he invited me for dinner, which is very rare. <laughs> and we decided to calculate on the back of a napkin what it would it cost to build our will. And we did some very simple formula. It came to 25,000 crores yeah. at that time. Now, even if we take that amount to be correct, 50 out of 25,000, how much percent is that? Half a percent? One percent? So, we have to start seeing in the overall picture of things and not just take one little thing out and then highlight it and hype it. My last point is about environmental impact. When you discuss environmental impact, you discuss the impact of an intervention here on a wider environment. You don't discuss the impact of an intervention here, here. Of course, that's negative. If I cut a tree here, the impact on that place is negative. But you have to see the impact of that intervention in the wider environment. So if you see, for example, the Crown ROW, 16.7 wide, 4.3 kilometer long, is point 36% of the master plan area, 0.36%. The crown plus the 12 radials, plus the outer ring, plus the international zone loop, plus one access road from outside to our will is 1.64% of the master plan area. Are we not able to keep 1.64% free from trees and buildings? What is the big deal? We have a green belt, which is three times the area of the city. Our green belt is 15 square kilometers in that plan. Now, we all know that the green belt will finally not become 15 square kilometers. For the simple reason there are villages, there are private development. Let us say it becomes only seven and a half kilometers. Seven and a half square kilometers, finally. The city has also 50% open and green. So you get two and a half open and green in the city. Seven and a half effectively in the green belt makes 10 built up in the city is two and a half. So you have a ratio of one to four. Name me one city in the world which has that type of a ratio. So I would request all of us to see all these issues in the wider context and not in the sense of my tree, my fence, my gate, my structure. No, let us see it in the, from the helicopter view and then come, of course come back to the field to implement the work. We are getting emotionally excited we look, because we look at things in isolation, not in the full context, and we don't have our facts clear. So my request is, can we all have a deep breath, read this master plan, compare it with the master plan of 1999, realize that what has been approved in drawings is exactly the same as what the RA has approved. They have only changed the text, and they made it into a plan. And I am eternally grateful to whoever decided at that time, I don't know who it is, whether it was Kirill Bay or somebody else, not to approve our plan the way it was prepared, but to first refer it to the experts and get it translated into something that you can actually work on. Don't forget also that we have raised funds, we have bought land, we have attracted volunteers to come here. The government of India has intervened to implement this Nobody would have given a rupee to our will, it was not a plan there. So we have to be true to the plan. We have also, my question to you was, are we going to be true to what the RA decides? I'm glad that you said yes, so let's do it. The RA decided to do this work, period. Thank you, Tuan. Luigi. How is my, how is small? I, I keep it watching. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is, uh, how generous. That's very generous of you. Thank but you. I'm going to yeah. check you. Yes, yes, dude, yeah. So, you know, it, it, what comes to me a lot when I'm, when I'm here is that 
I feel information and clarity and exactness is very important, right? So when I heard Judith speak or when I heard Tuan speak, now um, this um, setup here doesn't allow for debate. Not really, because there's just too many people with different messages. What I would love to propose for future, if we really want to get to truth, right, is to suggest, you know, representatives of different points of view, you know, to sit and debate in front of the rest of us, right? Um, because um, I couldn't, um, I couldn't answer any of, any of the questions. Now, and one thing I want to say is actually I, I should have said this first, and I was planning it the whole time, and I messed it up now. Uh, is that, you know, for me, um, didn't Trubino say it's a, it's a crisis of consciousness, right? We're in a crisis of consciousness. Sorry? Now it is the hour of God. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so, so let me... has already done since many, many years. Okay, so let, let me... But so it's a, it's a crisis, we're in a crisis of consciousness, right? We're still there. Yeah. Now we're that, wait, wait, just let me... What's going on? What's going on? Am I speaking or... Yeah, so let me finish. Let me just finish my thought, yeah? So, crisis of consciousness um, implies, it's not exactly the same thing, but it implies a crisis in intelligence as well, yeah? So, and what I'm suggesting is that actually the forum that we have here usually for the GMs doesn't allow for the most intelligent thoughts and narratives to come to the fore and to actually face each other, right? So that we can find resolution and also share with the community the outcome of that discussion, right? Yes. So what I propose is, you know, that we should have, that we should have debates with, yeah. more, with venerable people or, or people that certainly represent certain points of view so that we can come out with a clear understanding. Because when I heard, as, what I noticed a lot, and this is the last thing I'll say, uh, from, for example, Selvraj and Judith and even some of Twan's, is that there's always gaps. There's little gaps, you know? So there's a picture, but then maybe five or 10% of it is not quite true, and okay. therefore, um, its, it's, its value is largely lost. Thank you. Suryan. Yeah. Oh, and thank you. And, and the last yeah. thing, just a, a very, very last thing, is that, you know, Surian, it's, it's, it's very... It's your third time speaking. Okay. You know, let the others speak also. And, but it's my first time in 40 years. Uh, okay. I'm so, sure there is more to come. Yeah. Uh, Luigi. Okay. Things that you don't know, that the galaxy is not the master plan. Yes, absolutely. I, I, know, I know that. So these I know that. should be debated. Okay. Yeah, right. absolutely. Okay. It should be Thank debated. You. Thank you. The, the master plan is destroy the galaxy. But Thank you. I see people are in the mood to move out. And uh, we have put one, uh, one hour 40 for this introspection. And I want to first thank Narad for calling down some peace in the room. It was very helpful in a moment right. of crisis. I want to thank also many other people who intervened, like Tuan, Selvaraj, Judith, and others, for bringing back into the true axis for which our villa has been... Uh, and thanks me. I am going to come. Actually, <laughs> my, all my thing, intervention is about you. <laughs> I will not forget. No, no, apart the jokes. Apart the jokes. We are all puppets in the end of much bigger forces and it comes from all quarters. So how to, my question today is how to come out progressively because the wounds are very deep from the present crisis. We have gone through many crises, Matrimandir, the planning and others. Society. Society, society. We went up to the Supreme Court and today we are fully into another internal crisis which can jeopardize our real development very much. My inner prayer is how to call the inner attitude and the outer expression by which we can move forward in an intense way. Madame Secretary was sitting here but she went away but I would have spoken to her to say, listen, Already I have formulated in a letter to all the working groups, including you, that Abroville Foundation, ATDC, uh, Working Committee, and if I forget someone, help me. Council. 
Council, okay, we cool down, and the environmental area, we cool down, and we even stop the present intervention, because this is really painful. Yeah. I have already told privately, Madame Secretary, she knows my position, which is not only mine, it's of many it people. Was cool down till the end of the year, but not to get passive and once again to le lose time and less. No, to work out what does it mean to make solid agreement. You have tried in ATDC, but every group, I include myself, from the Greens, from the uh, foundation, from the, our uh, ATDC and planning group, we have fundamentalists and we have hardliners. Yeah. If we do an introspection today, yeah. it's about identified intensity in the softliner. I'm sorry if this is a special language, but it's to say it. We go softly in development, no way to have the GCB destroying in this way. We do agreement very intensively because there is an incredible flexibility in the galaxy. I have here, he went, Satyan, here, something we support. Satyan is still there. Sorry. Sorry. Surian, sorry. We support what Stuan said, the 2007 Resident Assembly Agreement, which says, what is flexible in the galaxy and what can be creative, uh, improving, evolving? Yes. It's Mark, because yeah. they were the last year, Roger, and this question we had inside our hearts. Now I come to the point. Can we, but now there is not enough people, we need another situation yeah. where we reflect, but I would like to send to you as a member of ATDC to other bodies, the reflection, can we all together ask Madame Secretary to stop this intervention? Even today it's very painful. It, this is very painful that they, they, they enter with GCB. This we don't want in our view. Please, not stop. You pause till the end of the year. Meanwhile, we see where we can reach agreement in many fronts intensively, night and day we can work and get back that fire which we have carried for many years to build a flexible city, yeah. to build a green city. That for me will be to revive the dream. Thank you. Thank you, Luigi. Thank you. I believe three days ago this is what happened. Till one o'clock the discussion went on and the agreement was reached, mass bulletin was used to publish and then the next day morning itself the whole deal was called off. Okay, so uh, I have a long list but the people have vanished. Uh, <laughs> 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 so should we just... Uh, Talk, you, if you want to speak a last talk, word and yeah. then we go for a... We are talking into the desert. <laughs> like, I, would like, I would like to clarify one small thing. I have been following the process also. I have been following the process very closely. And when the youth took the decision to surrender, I had tears in my eyes when I was reading it. And I went afterwards also to the meeting. I participated in the meeting. I see the confusion which happened there. But if we would have had or have given ourselves, let's say, one week, maximum 10 days, to clarify some points where the youth actually did feel secure enough, if that could have been clarified with you yeah. and with other working groups, then actually they would have completely surrendered and we could have in peace and dignity, we could have dismantled the youth yeah. center. That's really my perception. It's a pain, yes. That's really my perception. And I was also there this morning yeah. and it is a pain for everybody. Yeah, for everybody. You look at this and it's painful, it's painful. Yeah. You have tears in your eyes when you look at it. And then I wonder, why didn't we wait for one, what is one week, what is ten days? 
in, 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 in 50 years. What is it? So I don't know why so quickly somehow the GCBs were put in. And that escapes. There is somebody, I don't mention the name, which says that he represents the force of the Albingo. And then another one is the force of the mother. Okay, and that. That, yeah, that I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert on them. Yeah. Okay. I just want to say that uh, uh, Secretary has tried since she has come to explain and meet all the youths who are in YC, or youth camp, you see, you, uh, youth center. And she has been explaining apart from the ATDC members. So unfortunately, they are really good people, uh, good uh, children, youths, but they have been instigated by the adults. So unfortunately, they will never, never stop if, if it is not happening suddenly with a acceleration. Yes, uh. yes. Let's close with a, some positive note. Yes. Yes. I was there when the secretary came. That was on today. We are Thursday. That was on Tuesday. I was there when the secretary came. And she walked around, looked at the buildings, chatted with people, with the children, with adults. And at a certain moment, she went deeper into the area together with Paul. And I, I followed. And basically, Paul was clearly showing to her the spot where the youth had agreed to shift actually the kitchen and the dining area to that spot, which was far away from the Crown Road. So that was shown to the secretary on Tuesday. So the question is, if that goodwill was there from the youth, from Paul, who has been extremely helpful in this whole process, if that was there, why this morning? Why did it happen? Why couldn't we wait for one week? Sorry, I'm repeating myself. Yeah. It's a pity. Right now. Hello everyone. So a very few people left to hear me and I just I would just consider that whatever comes through me is to be heard by someone here. That's why I'm speaking. And uh, witnessing a very heavy energy in Orville which I have never experienced in my journey of Orville so far. My name is Prerna and I am a long term volunteer here in Oroville working. I am an architect but I like to uh, be a servitor of this place and uh, do some work around. And um, yeah, there is a very, very, very heavy energy going around and we have been witnessing that for the past one week very strongly. Um, Personally, I feel that whatever is happening is um, has been creating a lot of unclarity. Um, considering the way the foundations of Oroville, Oroville was laid, it brought together people. Like we've been reading about charters, we've been reading about what Mother has said, what Sri Aurobindo has said and everything. We know it's a place for nobody in specific. It's a universal land. It's a land for everyone to come together. Bring, they brought their soil together and they planted together and everybody in union, in unity. And what, hap what is happening in this moment, we can clearly see, even the kids can clearly sense that it is creating divisions. Today morning was an act of dividing people, people going around and saying we are like really wrong, spreading wrong messages about uh, Orvillians and Tamilians and disrespecting each other, which is not true. And we are talking about unity, we are talking about the charter, the dream of mother. Are we really acting from that space is my question. 
we are all trying yes but then it is but we are not uh, implementing that in this moment yeah and like for what i personally feel like from an architect's point of view i would say about the design of the city and the ma master plan and everything i i'm just aware that okay there were some alternate plans being proposed and uh, but we are not considering that at all but there has been some alternate plans that has been proposed no, and we've had prerna so yeah okay I'm, i just I, I welcome i welcome you to come and learn about we, we are happy to share all the documents you know learn about you're an architect seems to be a nice you know bright mind there are so many it's not so black and white also we we as i said no none of us are happy about what happened today it's it's just unfortunate that we came about as a community at this level that's what we need to reflect on yeah but uh, my personal suggestion would be that i think there needs to be more of inclusion and coming is. together yeah. because that clearly is not happening in lakshya i know but nobody would say that that's not going to happen that's not true it oroville is not for inclusion we all are we all it believe is. in it it is for unity it is for inclusion it Absolutely. is for everything but in this moment yeah what we've been experiencing in person in spirit in energy every day for the past one week to 10 days clearly it is not happening in this moment and i my intention is to just uh my intention is just that that needs to happen prerna no doubt we have hit a rock bottom let's Thank try you. to get back up this is what we should Yeah. That's very good. We all are feeling the pain. We are absolutely like shall we spend 2 minutes in silence and then